Machine Gun Episode 4 ends with the most gruesome moment on the show so far, and Nabara Josin's death means war has officially started an FX historical epic. Following Lord Toranaga and John Blackthorne's action-packed escape from Osaka, Shmun Episode 4 explored how valuable the Englishman's arsenal and skills could be for Yashii's cause. However, what was supposed to be a series of exercises and demonstrations turned into actual combat when Lord Toranaga's son surprisingly ordered the cannon to be fired against Nabara Josin and his samurai, which was perceived as a declaration of war. Lord Toranaga is visiting Ito, which is a significant place for a character that is modeled after Takigawa Ieyasu. The plan was for the Lord of Kanto to be preparing for the impending battle with Ishido by having Blackthorn instruct Toranaga's regiment in foreign tactics. But now, because of Yashii Nagakato's careless actions he was easily tricked by Kashigi Omi and authorized a vicious attack against Josen things would become much more problematic. The Shido dispatched the samurai to retrieve Yabishij and return him to Osaka. Yashi Nagakato, Lord Toranaga's son in Shungun, ordered his father's samurai to shoot against Nabara Josin and his men using cannons at the end of episode 4. This led to the most gruesome death in Shungun so far, with multiple samurai being brutally killed after being hit by the round shots. John Blackthorne's cannons were supposed to be used for a demonstration as part of the training exercise he was conducting, yet they were used to attack the samurai that were there on behalf of Ishido and the Council of Regents. Nagakato, who was perceived by many as a spoiled child, wanted to prove his value as the son of Lord Yashii Toranaga. He believed that he would achieve respect and glory from his peers by killing the samurai who were working for his father's enemy. Josen was asked to watch the demonstration, but was surprised by Nagakato's cry of war, which was followed by multiple cannon shots aimed at the samurai. Most of Josen's men died immediately, but Josen himself only died after Nagakato gave the final blow using a sword. While Nagakato had been wanting to make a name for himself and impress his father since the beginning of the show, Toranaga's son was tricked by Kashigi Omi into attacking the regent's samurai. On that night before the attack, Omi argued that Josen and his men were there as enemies of Lord Toranaga and that they would capture one of the Lord of Kanto's most important allies Kashigi Yabishij. This led Nagakato to believe that he would be doing his father a favor by killing the Council of Regents Samurai while also proving his value. It's interesting to note that Omi was coerced into moving against Ishido and the Regents. Omi and Kiku, the courtesan who works closely with Yabishij, discussed how Kiku could one day take over for his uncle. Yabishij would become a target if there were any issues with Josen's return to Osaka, as he was there to support him. But Omi knew better than to move himself, so he deceived Nagakato into engaging in combat instead. Omi's scheme will have succeeded if Yabishij is made to pay for Nagakato's deeds. Shmun episode episode 4 means the war has begun. As announced by Lady Mariko herself at the end of Shmun episode 4, the war has begun. While Toranaga and his enemies have been on bad terms since the beginning of the show, both sides were still cautious to avoid any bloodshed. However, the tension between Toranaga and the Council of Regents has reached a critical point now that Toranaga's son personally ordered an attack against samurai who were representing the regents. Nagakato's actions will be perceived as if they were commanded by Lord Toranaga, even if the latter had no idea of what was going on. The fact that Toranaga had secretly left Osaka was already significant enough to guarantee war. But given how strong the Lord of Kanto is, it makes reasonable that neither Ishido nor any of the Christian lords move to stop Toranaga right away. Still, nothing can stop a conflict from starting now that multiple men have lost their lives as a result of an attack carried out by Toranaga's son. Because she is aware that there will be many more deaths as a result of them, Lady Mariko was crying in desperation at the conclusion of Shungun Episode 4.